Hello, everybody. Here's a look at race tab four. This is a beta version that's coming out next month. Um, wanted to show one of the new most anticipated features that's going to be huge for this cross country season is the integration with TFERS, which is now required by NCAA. Um, and so you'll notice on this opening screen here now, um, under import meets, we have a new button that says download from TFERS. Um, so what you'll do is click that. And it's going to come up here, and you can enter your TFERS or Direct Athletics username and password. Um, and then you click Sign In. And what it will do then is it will present you with a list of your meets. Um, so whatever meets that you have permission to do um, within TFERS will be listed here. And you would choose the meet, and you will click Download and Import. And it will think about it. And let me move this over here to the screen. So it's just downloaded this meet. Sorry about that. And so you can see, unfortunately, what um, currently it just comes over with the meet name. It doesn't populate any of the venue and other information. Um, but it does come over with the teams that are entered into the meet. And in this case, I don't have any athletes because this is just a test meet I threw together. But normally, would have your athletes. Um, and uh, if you are using direct athletics, um, it would have um, all those athletes um, enter the meet. Um, and uh, I think you can also set up to download the, all the rosters as well. But anyway, but um, you know, hopefully in the future we can get DA to send a little bit more information where we can pre-populate the venue. I mean, did populate the date, but not any of this venue information. That would be really nice. Um, so then once we go over here, um, we do have to set the meet from scratch. Again, we're not downloading it with anything ahead of time. Um, so I'm just going to create this race just to have a mock race for you. So we've got a men's race here. And I'm just going to key in some athletes. All right, we're going to score this. So now we've got our results. And, um, you know, you can print these out and see what they look like. Um, and what we can do now, if we want to send these to TFERS, is we will go up to the export menu here. So click at the top, click export, click TFERS. And uh, then we will choose to upload them or export them. And it says here, post it to TFERS. Do you want to view them online? I can say yes. And then we will see over here in my web browser, these results have now been uploaded to the site. So now I need to go uh, email DA and tell them to pull them down because they're test data. But you see it works. There it is. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoy.